Well, today I think I'm gonna give the sheep some free choice, some Redmond salt. So it's been so warm and uh, today it's so windy and we got a little cold front in, but I'm gonna go ahead and give them some of that right now and see how they're doing. Let's see how Rambo and everyone's doing. They're ready, they want some. Hey Rambo, how are ya? Hey big boy. Everyone wants to say hi. Hi mama, hi. He said, I want my salt. Huh? Huh? You want your salt? Rambo wants his salt. He's really slimmed up after he lost his coat. I don't know how many inches. It must. It was like six inches thick. He lost his winter coat. So now he looks slim and trim and he's very handsome now, isn't he? Are you handsome, Rambo? Are you a handsome guy? Handsome fellow? Alright, I'll bring you guys some salt. And see now you can see they just all had a little bit at the beginning and now they're all got a little bit and then they're all gonna go and eat some grass or chew some cud or hang out. And I just leave it out there. It's like, mmm, that's yummy. So more important in these summer months to keep that salt out there for your animals. Rambo. Be good. Take care of everybody. So I'm going to start off today. I'm going to go to the garden get a few things because I'm going to make a ferment because we've had so much broccoli and cauliflower I need to use it up. I have already done a ton of cabbage, a lot of kimchi and so now I'm going to do some um, ferments with some cauliflower and some red onions. So let's go to the garden and get a picking. So I'm going to make a turmeric cauliflower ferment, which is amazing. It's a little sour and it has great flavors. I have some fresh dill I'm going to put in here and some garlic and it's just amazing. And those fermented type um, foods that we're making here are great to put the good, um, good bugs into your gut and some unrefined salt. I use the Redmond salt and let's get going here. So I have some quart jars and all I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go ahead and put my fresh dill on the bottom like you do if you make pickles and I'm just going to go ahead and put a mixture of the carrots and the cauliflower in the jars with the onions and then I'm going to kind of intersperse here a little bit of my garlic. I love this time of year because there's so much wonderful produce in the garden. It makes the best ferment. And it's so fun to kind of play with it, look at the spices and the seasonings that you have in the garden from your herbs. So much variety in the garden this time of year. So if I want to put basil in there, if I want to put oregano in there. So today I chose dill, so I'm going to try dill and I think it's going to taste amazing. 
Now what I'm gonna do, generally to a quart when I'm making my brine, it's gonna be four teaspoons of unrefined salt. I use the Redmond salt. And when um, you're doing it, I'm not gonna need a whole quart of water. So this is a mistake a lot of people make when they're doing ferments. So I'm not even using a pint of water here. So it's just a little less. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my four teaspoons of unrefined salt in there. And then I'm going to do about a teaspoon of some turmeric. And then I'm going to shake it up really, really good. You guys remember that commercial? It's shake and bake and I helped. Put a comment below if you remember that commercial. Alright, so I'm going to shake this up really good. And I'm going to pour it over the top. And then I'm gonna do, I use the Mason Tops fermenting um, kit. And then here, this is the pickle puck, and then I'm gonna use the top. But if whatever you have will work. You can also just use your Mason jar top, or your lid, and um, that'll work just fine too, just as long as you gotta make sure you burp it every day, just kind of by turning the lid. So there you go. Wanna make sure, now this is gonna get a little bit more liquid in it by tomorrow, so I don't wanna make sure it's all the way up to the top. I wanna make sure I have some headspace and enough room for the liquid to come up. And here's another question that a lot of people have. When they're fermenting, make sure my top is clean. And they are using these mason tops. They may find that this top, there's too much liquid and it starts kind of coming out of the top. All you need to do is take it off, dump some of the liquid out of it, clean it off, Put it back on and then nothing's going to happen to your ferment and you didn't ruin it or anything like that. And then I'm going to use my ring, put it on top like so, and I'm going to go ahead and set these in a pantry somewhere, let it go 10, 14 days or so, and then you're going to have this wonderful pickled um, ferment that tastes just absolutely amazing. And it's good for you because we always talk about you know, put, put the good bugs into your gut. We want those good bugs to help with our immune system because the majority of our immune, immune system is in our belly. So this is just one thing that you can help doing it, taking a tablespoon or two a day of it, and it tastes great and it'll add such good health to your diet. And be careful with that turmeric term because it stains everywhere. And make sure after your 10 to 14 days, go ahead, you can open it and taste it to see if you like it. If you want it to go a little bit more, you can go a little bit more. But when you're done, you're gonna go ahead and take the, the fermenting lid off, and then you're gonna put a flat on in place of it, and then you put it in cold storage, so in your refrigerator, root cellar, and then that way it'll last many, many months in there. But I always eat it way before then, and it's great, you know, if you have parties or if you just want it just kind of like as um, you can have it with a, as a condiment with your food or eat it with your salads. So there's so many really cool ways that you can do these. Let me know in the comments below if you've been making ferments, if what ones are your favorite. You like a lot of the vegetables and things that you like to do. Leave it in the comment below. Or if you're gonna try it, let me know if you're gonna try it because this one's a really good one. And it looks pretty too. It looks good on your counter. <laughs>